welcome to another episode of the Live Your Art Life podcast. So I kind of wish we had the option to turn off our follower account on our Instagram profiles. They kind of did it with likes. The reason why I think this would be great is because having that count number, it encourages us to get caught up in that not enough storm, that constant hunger for more, 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 more followers, more likes more fame. It causes us to forget what we already have, and it keeps us deeply rooted in that mentality of, if I had X number of followers, I would be successful and happy. Which we all know, deep down inside, just is not true. Even if we were to reach that goal, whatever goal we have in our minds, would you truly be happy? Would your hunger actually be satiated? I often fall victim to this at times. You fall into that spiral of, oh, if I only had X amount of followers, I'd be happy, and down you go. It leads to that shucking Instagram hacks to 10 times your followers, which, you know, are always shady and never seem to produce the real results that you need, and the frantic posting for the sake of posting and overall negativity. Doesn't sound like a lot of fun, does it? But you've probably experienced this. I know I have. Look at the artists and creators that you adore and idolize. They've probably been through it too. But as far as we know, hmm, the follower count will be staying firmly on our profiles. So what can we do about it? We can change our habits and our mindset. And it's not like it's not a valuable tool or metric, because it is when used properly. A high number can give your account social proof and credibility, and it indicates a larger following. But a larger following doesn't always equal success. These days, there are so many ways that you can buy followers and see a nice boost in that follower number. But these people that followed you, they're not interested in what you're giving to them or what you're looking for. And ultimately, they have no interest in your business. They'll never comment or share or ever purchase your artwork. So they're not useful to you at all. And so the first way that you can change your mindset about followers is this. So number one, you can focus on reaching your ideal audience. If you paint beautiful florals that instill calmness and serenity, your brush strokes are adorned with perfect pastels, Would you purposely try to market your work to, let's say, middle-aged bikers that like to display epic, dynamic, grayscale photographs of Harleys? Probably not, right? And the same goes for your efforts in finding new followers. If you aren't putting yourself out there with intention, then you risk building up your content and your account with people that aren't really interested in your work. Sure, your follower account may increase, but it won't translate to increase art sales or even increase engagement. But if you define your ideal audience and speak directly to them, they're the ones that are eagerly going to want to hear your message. So the second one is to put energy towards those who already engage with your work. Let's get down to brass tacks. Having an audience of, let's say, 10,000, but only 1% is actually your ideal audience, and engages regularly, produces about the same result as an audience of just 1,000 where 10% are engaging regularly. What seems easier to achieve? One might seem less glamorous, but that follower count is lower on the outside, but we've learned that the number really doesn't mean a whole lot. What means so much more is the fact that you have followers that are engaged with your content, that love what you create. What does mean a lot is fostering a tight relationship with your engaged and dedicated followers, the ones who truly adore you and your work, the ones that are always eager and ready to buy your new work and shower you with praise. Those are the ones that matter. Start conversations with them. Get to know them. Tailor your message so it speaks directly to them. These are incredibly valuable people to your business. 
and nourishing your relationship with them is going to bring you so much success. The third thing that you can do is to track your metrics on a schedule. So the data is still super useful. There's no denying that. How else would you be able to tell if the changes you're making in your strategy are actually working? I track my metrics weekly and I try my hardest to not look at the data in between my check-in dates. I'm not perfect, but I try. I track follower count and engagement rates weekly and a couple other things. And I take notes about which posts are performing best. The data isn't very useful on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. So that's another reason why you shouldn't even bother your pretty little head with it during the week or whenever in between you're gonna be checking. So the fourth way is to pay attention to this other metric instead. So rather than putting your focus into tracking your follower or like count, turn your attention to something much more important, engagement rates. There are a few sites that calculate the rate for you, but essentially it's the ratio of engagement, so likes, comments, shares, and follows, to followers. You want this value to be as high as possible. Building those relationships with your audience is hella important. So pour your energy into this area instead. It's one that actually feels good and will reward you time and time again. There's so many fun ways to boost engagement with your fans. And I even wrote a pretty little blog post about it. So go check that out in the show notes. So before you carry on with your day, I just wanted to share something with you that might be the answer to your prayers. Uh, I created my free guide on how to leverage Instagram for artists. It's no doubt that the platform is a killer tool for artists, but between the hashtags and the algorithm, it ain't easy. Grab my free guide and start using Instagram to sell your art in a huge meaningful way. Alrighty, folks, I will see you in the next episode of the Live Your Art Life podcast. Stay magical.